I've come across some very suspecting teenagers. Now, if I were to ask you what is the scariest thing you can think of, a middle-aged white woman is probably one of the last things you'd think of. But, apparently some people, and Coke Daniels being one of those people, would disagree. Because Coke Daniels has directed a horror movie entitled Karen. Now, if you haven't heard about it or seen the trailers or anything, don't worry, it's likely just as bad, if not worse, as you're thinking. Now, the premise of the movie is a black family moves into a predominantly white neighborhood, and one of their white neighbors does not like them and I guess ends up trying to kill them to get them out of the neighborhood? I don't know, the trailer's kind of confusing. And while racial discrimination in neighborhoods like this is a very real and big problem, the way they chose to portray it in this movie makes it kind of look like an SNL skit. There is absolutely no subtlety to the movie whatsoever, and the writing is just so on the nose that you can't even try to take it seriously. But why would I keep talking? about it when I could just show you it. Let's begin. Please subscribe. I guess this is a long way from East Point. Baby, you just gotta give it a chance. Tell me about your new neighbors. They're black. <laughs> Do you mind keeping it down? If you don't comply, I'll tell the manager. See, stuff like this makes this movie unwatchable. Not because what she's doing is very unrealistic. There are people who would walk up to somebody and say this. But really? If you don't comply, I'll have to tell the manager? Could you try to fit any more keywords into that line? You look like my descriptions. It's just too on the nose. Somebody's taking home security serious. Hi! I am Karen Drexler. I'm your neighbor. You need to be taking your trash cans off the curb right when the trash is picked up. Is she nice? Yeah, she's nice. Wait a minute, we have a white entitled neighbor named Karen? Karen. Yeah. I know, I'm surprised too. They really didn't think that you could get the idea that she's a Karen. They really had to name her Karen. It's like I'm watching a Darman video. I don't need my handheld through the entire movie. I can figure things out, director. This is how you ruin a movie. By shoving your message down the viewer's throat every three seconds. Okay, enjoy yourself. There she is, slaving away in the kitchen. I've come across some very suspecting teenagers. Okay, so at this point when I first watched this trailer, I would have bet money that this was an SNL skit. I mean, seriously? <laughs> this looks terrible. You're not gonna add an interface or anything to show it's an iPhone video? You're just gonna slap two black bars on the side and call it a day? And this weird angle in the way she's talking? I genuinely thought that this was Kate McKinnon for a second. Suspecting? Can you please hurry up? Please, it's either very, very aggressive, yep. I left my wallet with my ID at home. Leave us alone, we didn't do anything! How the heck did you end up moving to this neighborhood? Next thing you know, we have criminals. Okay, so it looks like we're closing in on the end of the movie. And so far, we've seen nothing but a woman be racist. Like, nothing's really happened to our main characters yet. Is this supposed to be like a thrilling movie? Is this supposed to be entertaining? If I wanted to watch people be racist, I'd just scroll on Facebook for an hour. You take care of him, and I will take care of her. Would you mind stepping out of the car? My office has uncovered some disturbing information on her and her brother. She doesn't like black people. Oh, really? Thanks, little girl. I was trying to figure out why she was being so mean. I would have never figured that out if you didn't say that. I mean, really? This is what I'm talking about. If you've gotten to the point of writing your message on a hammer and then bashing your audience's skull in with it, that means one of two things. Either you think you're too bad a writer to get your message across without saying it, or you think your audience is too dumb to get your message without saying it. Two things that make me not want to watch a movie you made. We have a search warrant. Well, I'm black. I know, she doesn't like you either. I want to sell the house. What do I do? You can't tell me, huh? We are living next door to a racist. You went in her house? You wouldn't want your wife to know our little secret, right? I was not staying in police procedure back there. What do we have here? We well, got a hammer. Everything looks like nails. You people are very angry. What? Why would you invite this woman over slash go to her house? That seems like it would be the worst possible course of action that you could take in this situation. I guess it is a horror movie though, so. Shut your mouth. 
Bad things happen to people that don't comply. Wow, that was terrible. How that actually got funding to be turned into a real movie is baffling, to say the very least. I would honestly not be surprised if it gets scrapped before it's actually released. I have genuinely not seen a single positive comment from anybody about this movie, and I can't imagine the full version showing us anything redeeming, so I guess we just have to hope for the best. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything, but for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.